This week I'm going to show you how to make these adorable jack-o'-lantern stuffed peppers. My daughter sent me this picture of this recipe and I said, oh, I got to make it. It's so cute. Aren't they cute? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brown a pound of ground pork. You can use ground beef if you like, or you can just leave the meat out altogether and add like different vegetables. Okay, this is almost done browning. And we're gonna put this to the side and start on the vegetables. We're gonna saute half an onion. I tried to chop it up finely. Looks pretty good, right? Yeah, that looks good. Let's saute this for a few minutes before we add everything else. Just give it like two or three minutes. I'm gonna throw in a couple of cloves of garlic that I finely minced. Now I'm gonna throw in one zucchini that I chopped up and we're gonna cook this down. Now let me tell you something about the zucchini. Went to the supermarket to pick it up, they no longer call it zucchini. They call it um, green squash. I was like, really, when did they change the name? But So if you can't find it in the supermarket, you might find it under green squash. But it's still freaking zucchini, I don't care what they say. It's next to the yellow squash. It's next to the yellow squash. And it was. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. And uh, just cook this down. And all you need is one zucchini, and look at all that. And I cut it up pretty small. You can cut it up smaller. Like I said, you can personalize this stuffing to what you want it to be. This is what we like. Now I'm going to add a tomato that I diced up. I took all the seeds out of it. I peeled it and I diced it up. going to add like a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper and we're gonna give it a little kick with some crushed red pepper you don't have to add this if you don't like spicy food I love spicy food and just stir that around look how beautiful those colors are and we're not done people <laughs> we are not done this is gonna get better I have a cup of tomato sauce here but I'm I don't I probably won't use the whole cup you know I'm probably just gonna use like maybe half can always add a little more later because this still has to bake in the oven. But look how nice and mushy that got. To this bowl, I'm going to add the ground pork that we browned. We're going to add the vegetables that we sauteed. Oh my God, that looks so good. Now I have some leftover rice that I'm going to add to this. I'm going to add about a cup, cup and a half. Yeah, that's about a cup and a half right there. And then I'll see how it looks. So I, could, I could always tell by the way it looks. Yeah, that looks good. See how nice? Look how beautiful that stuffing is. Now that the stuffing is done, we're gonna prepare our peppers. Cut the tops off. Okay, look at that. Now we're gonna clean out the inside. Now we're gonna take out the seeds and what do they call that white stuff in there? White stuff. <laughs> That's so informative. Yeah, the white stuff. See, and look, then we're gonna wash this out and then that's gonna be great, see? I'm gonna wash this out and look at that. See how that's all out? And throw this seeds and stuff away. And you see? So when we do it, it has its little top. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna find the widest, you're gonna look for the widest area on the pepper because we're gonna make a little face on this. Okay, now we're going to cut like a pumpkin face. And you're going to cut the triangles for the eyes. Oh my god, it's going to be so cute. Look at that. I can't. No. You're going to cut out the eyes. My daughter found this recipe on the internet and she says, oh my god, mom, you have to make these. So yeah, how cute are they? And there you go. And you cut out the mouth. And there you have it. You have your pumpkin. You can get more elaborate than this if you want, but this is like great for me. I love it. Look at that. And now we're gonna stuff them. Now don't forget, while you're cutting them, keep the tops together so you know which top goes with which pepper. And now we're gonna stuff them. Aren't they cute? Look at them. Cute. I love them. Cute enough to eat. Cute enough to eat. And now we're gonna stuff them. Where's the spoon? Oh. 
just get your stuffing and just put your stuffing in. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And the stuffing smells so good. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that great? Isn't that? It looks good, right? And now what you do is you're going to put them in your pan, make sure they can stand, and put the top back on top of it. To the bottom of my pan, I'm going to add a little chicken stock. Not a lot, just you want about a, about a half inch of chicken stock down there just to keep them moist. You don't want the bottoms to burn out. And then we're going to cover them with foil. And now we're going to put them in the oven at 350 for about a half hour. We're actually going to have them in there for 45 minutes, but what we're going to do is the last 15 minutes, we're going to take the foil off and turn up the heat a bit. All right, it's been a half hour. You take the cover off, see how they're steaming, and you're going to put them back in for 15 minutes at 400. Well, here they are. Aren't they adorable? And they're so easy to make. Like I said, you can make the filling, you can customize it to anything you want to make. Just personalize it and look at that. <gasps> That's how you're gonna serve it to people. Isn't that sweet? You can see their little faces. They look like they're throwing up rice. <laughs> oh my God. And I know that the stuffing is good because I just know. Ooh, it's steaming hot. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It really is good. And they're so cute. Isn't that nice for like a little party or something? So adorable. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. I hope you try this, I really do. Hit thumbs up, subscribe, and enjoy. Mm -hmm.